we're working on the Copernicus program, which is the European Union's Earth Observation Program. This is flying satellites and turning those, the data that they collect into, into meaningful information. This is done in cooperation with the European Space Agency, and we're, we're currently flying uh, radar satellites which can see through cloud. They, they work at day and night collecting pictures of the planet's surface, and we use optical systems which are more like a conventional camera but much more sensitive. They collect information which allows us to measure changes in vegetation health. We're able to build up a picture of where the planet's surface, where the vegetation is, is decreasing in, in health and increasing in productivity or, or indeed where it isn't changing at all. We're able to turn those into maps of different land cover, into forests and grasslands, agricultural areas, cities, build up a picture of the Earth's surface and how it changes over time. The European Union is, is strongly involved in the multilateral environmental conventions. This is the Climate Change Convention, the Biological Diversity Convention, the Desertification Convention. All of those need information on land cover and how it's changing. Um, Changes or losses in habitat, disappearing forests, are one of the biggest threats to biological diversity on the planet. Losing productivity of land through desertification has an impact on us all in the short term and the long term. It affects our ability to grow food. And climate change, of course, affects us in our day-to-day -day lives. And what happens on the land affects the climate system. The, the, the exchange of gas and water and energy between the planet's surface and the atmosphere is governed in part by the land surface. So what we do to it and how we change it has an effect on the climate. <laughs>